Here is a derivation of the moment generating function for a random variable x that has an exponential distribution with positive rate parameter lambda. By definition, the moment generating function is the expected value of e to the tx. Now when computing that expected value, because the exponential distribution is a continuous distribution, you will have an integral rather than a summation. And furthermore, the limits on that integral will go from 0 to infinity because the support of the random variable x goes from 0 to infinity. The e to the tx will get copied in right here when computing the expected value. And lambda e to the minus lambda x is the probability density function of the exponential distribution. You'll notice that this lambda does not contain x. And because it does not contain x, it can be pulled out front of the integral. Furthermore, because e to the tx and e to the minus lambda x both have a base e, you can add their exponents and you get this quantity right here. In order to think a little bit about this integrand right here, I'd like to conduct the following thought experiment. Think of this coefficient in front of x here as a particular value. And let's put the value 3 in for t minus lambda. Well, if you take the integral of e to the 3x, well, e to the 3x is a function that just simply increases. And if you integrate from 0 to infinity, that integral will diverge. So you cannot have a positive value here and get the integral to converge. Now let's try putting a negative value in for t minus lambda. How about negative 3? Well, e to the minus 3x is a function that decreases as x increases. And because it does, e to the minus 3x decreases fast enough that that integral will converge. So this integral, it's of the form e to the u du if you just had a t minus lambda out front here. So you compensate by putting a t minus lambda in the denominator here. And you will get e to the t minus lambda x for the integral. But remember, we have to assume that that t minus lambda is negative in order for this integral to converge. So when you plug in infinity, you'll have e to the negative constant times infinity. That's 0. And when you plug in 0, you will have e to the 0 power, which is 1. But that's a lower limit. So this turns out to be negative 1. So when you multiply this quantity out front by a negative 1, you can just swap the t and the lambda. And you get lambda over lambda minus t, a nice mathematically tractable moment generating function. But remember, you have to put in the restriction t minus lambda is less than 0, which is the same as t less than lambda. So here is a t-axis. And here is lambda. And here is 0. And one of the requirements for a moment, genera moment generating function to exist is it has to exist in a neighborhood about 0. We have shown that this is the moment generating function for t values less than lambda. So I will indicate that it is good for those particular values of t. Does it exist in a neighborhood about 0? It does. We could arbitrarily choose the limits here to be negative lambda over 2 and positive lambda over 2 for our neighborhood. And the moment generating function does exist in this neighborhood about 0. So therefore, the moment generating function exists.